Uh, my name is Dave Ratt, and welcome to my home workshop. I'm going to show you a couple uh, really cool Sound Tools products. And I've got these Google Glasses that I'm going to use to videotape the uh, demo. We'll see how it goes. All right, uh, the two products are the Sound Tools XLR Snipper Sender Units, which we've been making for quite a while now. And what it is, it's a remote end tester. It allows you to test uh, mic cables with the ends located at a distance. You don't have to have both ends or run an extension cable out to uh, test it. And there's three LEDs. And if the three LEDs light, it's good. The red, green, or off, three greens works. And it'll test every possible fault. There's an on-off switch in the back of the sender unit. And when the unit's off, it draws no power. If it's on, it draws no power unless it's plugged in the other side is lit. So the other unit I want to show you is the Cat Snake. The Cat Snake is a Cat5 based, it runs on EtherCon, shielded Cat5 cable, it's got the metal sides on it, and it runs four analog lines down a Cat5, Cat6, or Cat5e cable. And it's got an input and an output, which um, is basically everything's in parallel. So let's go ahead and try that out. We'll plug in this cable here and we'll test it out. Put in the sender and the sniffer and the green lights is good. And test two of the four lines. Um, all right, the cat snake can also be used as a splitting system. You could come into these ones here and have the two cat fives come out, hit two others, and split. Also, you can use them as male create female to male, four male to male adapters, or female to female, or four male to males, uh, or any combination thereof. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh, XLR sniffer sender. Um, the XLR sniffer sender also works on phantom power as a test source. I've got this little Midas here with uh, phantom power turned on the first 12 channels. And what we can do is very quickly test snaking systems. Good, good. And no good on the end. The cable's not connected. Show you what a bad looks like. Let's plug into channel eight here. Four, six, this is eight here. And I've got a clip lead. Oh, I had a clip lead. Let's grab a clip lead. And we'll make this fail. And you can see the LEDs. I think you can see it. There we go. All right. What else can we do? Oh, how about um, the cap snake? on unshielded cable. For very short runs, if you use unshielded cable, or for line level stuff, you can get away without, unshield, without shielding because of the twisted pairs are fairly high quality inside of the Cat5 uh, cabling. And we'll plug a mic into there. Build ourselves an, awkward, an awkward mic cable. And two, 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 two. Hey, 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 two, hey, hey, one, two, uh. And um, this has got a lot of gain on this mic. Let's see, starting to feedback. Um, what else do we got? I think that should do it. Cat Snake, XLR sniffer senders. Using this. Oh, here's the prototypes for the Cat Snakes. Um, we've made them a little smaller and we're made out of aluminum so they don't rust. Um, rigid. All right, that should do it. Um, I hope this is useful and interesting, and I'll try and do another one soon.